There is a huge diversity of species in the planet. But most of them are restricted to certain geographical regions of the Earth. Where they are in equilibrium with other species of the region. But as a result of human activities, many of them are transferred far from their native areas. In the new location, those travelers are free from their natural enemies. If the environment is suitable for them to grow, they may become dangerous invaders. And this may bring consequences for the native species. Free from their enemies, the invaders outcompete the natives, displacing them. Surprisingly, a few natives take advantage of the invaders' presence, which become magnet species for pollinators. But for most of the studied plants, the pollinators shift to the more attractive invaders, abandoning natives, and resulting in negative consequences for the reproduction of these plants. Nonetheless, nobody said life was easy, not even for those invaders. When colonizers are few and genetically close, sexual reproduction among them may be prevented by incompatibility systems. But how do those species breed in their native areas? Biological invasions become excellent opportunities to study life evolutionary patterns. The studies being conducted by researchers from the universities of Coimbra and Vigo show that the sexual reproductive system of the invader species is changing as a result of the invasion process itself. In its native area, this plant is constrained by a heteromorphic incompatibility system that prevents the germination of pollen grains from the same flower or other flowers with the same floral morph. The ovules of a flower can only be fertilized by pollen from other flowers with a different, complementary morph. In order to be reproductively successful, the number of individuals of each floral morph within a population must be even. But away from its native area, the populations of this species include individuals of just one floral morph. The plants introduced in many places around the globe as ornamental can reproduce asexually, but most of them are short-styled. As it has been said before, the incompatibility system prevents sexual reproduction within populations of just one floral morph. Nonetheless, the researchers have proven that these plants have become free of the heteromorphic incompatibility system in some areas, and after just some generations. Now they freely reproduce sexually with other similar individuals, and they can even self-fertilize. Now we know more, but unfortunately we know just a few things about the behavior of the invader species. Fellas, keep on supporting my pupils to unveil the secrets of this universe where we all must live in.